plane did flip uh, over its front end uh, into the water, and any any crash or any landing, they say, as you can walk away from, is a good landing. So. Well, this morning, that pilot of that plane is alive after crashing his plane into Lake Travis. We want to show you where emergency crews say it happened. They got the call around uh, 8 o'clock last night about the plane going down near Pace Pend Park. We're waiting to hear from uh, the FAA about where that plane was coming from and where it was headed. The plane is still in Lake Travis. This photo was sent to us through reported at KXAN.com. You can see the tail of the plane dropping or popping rather out of the water and the boat used to remove uh, it. Here's uh, how emergency crews describe the situation when they arrived. And upon arrival, we found out the pilot had self-extricated out of the airplane uh, and was on the wing uh, of the aircraft floating in the water, which we uh, arrived with our boat, uh, picked up the pilot, assessed him, and uh, he refused any and all treatment and transport. He's just fine. And plane crashes into Lake Travis are rare, but they happen. We looked at our archives and found that a year ago, around this same time, a plane hit near the shore of the lake near uh, Bob Wentz Park. Three people inside, including a father and his son, escaped without any major injuries. Dive teams eventually found the small plane at the bottom of the lake that's 35 feet underwater. 